Welcome inside the first Vikings update of the 2016 sports season here at Valley City State University. I'm your host, Mark Potts, Sports Information Director. Coming up later in the show, our guest, Dennis McCulloch, head football coach here at Valley City State. We'll talk about his team's win over rival University of Jamestown. But first, highlights of that game up now. Viking football opened the season Thursday night by hosting rival University of Jamestown in front of a packed lock in stadium. We pick it up in the second half with the Vikings leading 8-3 after a pair of first half field goals and a safety. Offense takes the third quarter kickoff and marches 67 yards for the first touchdown of the game and a 15-3 lead. Jacob Dulio was a workhorse on the drive, capping it with a 23-yard touchdown run. Part of a big night for Dulio included 29 carries and 138 yards. From there, the Viking defense held the lead, shutting down the Jimmy offense twice on fourth downs deep in Viking territory. Big night for middle linebacker Nick McBain who finished with a career high 28 tackles. Jamestown was able to punch a TD in to make it 15-10 but on the ensuing drive VCSU punter Mark Wagner executed a fake punt with just over four minutes remaining. That allowed the Vikings to milk another three minutes off the clock and shut down Jamestown's last gaps drive. Vikings take home the paint buck with the 15-10 victory. It is the fifth straight win over Jamestown as Valley City State moves to 1-0 on the season. Jamestown drops to 0-1-1. The two teams will meet again October 20th. 29th in Jamestown for the North Star Conference matchup. Vikings hit the road this Saturday playing at Dickinson State, non-conference game as VCSU will host Dickinson later in the season. You can listen to Saturday's game on KOVC 1490 AM and at NewsDakota.com. Valley City State Golf has also opened up the season. They played at the Bismarck Mystic Invite on Sunday and Monday. The Viking men placed fourth out of seven teams at the meet. Kyle Weeb had the top individual performance, placing ninth. Jared Lentz added a top ten finish as well. Viking women placed third out of three teams. Solid tournament for Haley Christofferson. She placed fourth overall with a two-day total of 184. Nicole Heinitz placed seventh. Viking golf quickly back in action on August 31st, Wednesday, with a one-day tournament at the Jamestown Country Club. VCSU volleyball team set to officially open the season this weekend at the Corn Palace Classic in Mitchell, South Dakota. Vikings will play Mount Marty, Clark University, Dickinson State, and Dakota Wesleyan. Vikings played a pair of scrimmage dates last week to prep for this week's season openers. Joined on this week's edition of Vikings Update by Dennis McCulloch, head football coach of Valley City State University and coach. Game one in the books, a victory in the paint bucket game against University of Jamestown. Obviously starting a season with the victory is sweet, but doing against Jamestown got to be a little bit sweeter, huh? I, yeah, it's you know I think all first of all winning is always a, is a good thing and it's a positive it's a great way to start your season and you know our our kids go through a lot there's a lot of work to get to that point so no matter who you're playing uh, you know it's a you know a, a win is a good thing and 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 when you do play Jamestown everything is you know. Uh, uh, heightened, you know right. the 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 expectations of of you know our team, uh, the fan base, our alumni. You know everybody's more attentive of what's going on. Uh, there's you know and and so that that definitely changes the perspective of the game a little bit too. And so no question, it, it feels great. And and our kids are are you know it's 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 a positive win for our kids. And uh, and any time we can get the win over Jamestown is a, is a really good thing. Yeah, fun atmosphere there, packed lock and stadium. You know, fans line in the whole field around. P pretty cool atmosphere to be a part of. That's your fifth win in a row against Jamestown. I don't think people realize how tough that is in a rivalry like this. What's been the key the last couple of years to get those five victories in a row? You know, it, I, first of all, we have a good team. I mean, that, that, I think the first thing is is that it, you know overall we've been a very talented team for the last few years. Uh, that's a positive, and, and you need some breaks to go your way right. in, in tight games, and we have. We've we went along to the wire the last two years, and and we've had a couple things go our way, and, and and sometimes you make those breaks. So I mean, whether you say hey you're lucky, or I, I you know we can look at it also, and we feel good about the talent that we have, and some of our playmakers that we have, and some of those guys stepping up and making big plays at at times that we need them to make them. So. You know, we've, you know, again, I, I, you know, as far as a guy who's boastful and brag, oh, we're just, we've just been great. I'm just so, I'm such a smart coach. You know, there's just so many other things that go into that, and and the things that have to happen and go right for us to 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 be successful. And you know, and I, I you know, I don't keep counting. Oh, we're, we're this many, you know, have this many wins against them. I, I just, you know, ultimately every game's important to us, and as a, as the whole season counts, the one game right now right. Uh, is just one game. We have so much more that we need to accomplish and want to accomplish. And that next game coming up is Dickinson State on Saturday at Dickinson. Always a tough place to play. Your thoughts on going out there? They're coming off a loss. Looks like it's going to be another slugfest, huh? Yeah, no question. I mean, and, and they're they're predicted to win the conference, and, and rightfully so. They're they're you know they had a great season last year, dominated really dominated to, other than one game last year the the league. Um, 
they have a lot of guys back. Their, their expectations should be very high that they, right. you know, they're going to have a good year. So we know it's going to be a tough game. I, I think our kids were a little embarrassed after last year's game out there. Um, you know, it, we really, uh, uh, we turned the ball over a lot offensively. Um, you know, the Trey Boone rushed, a lot, <laughs> you know, had, had quite a few yards against us right. and I like explosive plays against us. So, but we did some good things. It just, you know, we, we just at by the end of the second half, we just wore out and, and it, you know, ended up being, a, I think, a 27-7 game. And, and, and just, I don't think our kid, none of our kids feel very good about how we performed and how we looked out there last year. So I, I know it's something we want to improve on and, and uh, um, you know, give a better show as we go out to Dickens. It's always hard to play out there. I, I, I guarantee you my, my one loss record is not very good out <laughs> in Dickinson. So, um, you know, it's, it's extremely important for us to go out and, and play well. They, they, ultimately what you want is they got to beat our best, right. you know. And, and last year I don't think that happened. I mean, I, you know, we just – the things that we made happen, you know, I don't think those are all uh, Dickinson's uh, best, and it wasn't definitely wasn't our best. So uh, that's something we want to go out and, and play at a different level next this week and, and hopefully can, can, can uh, perform at a high level on, on Saturday afternoon. And that game Saturday, 3 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Mountain Time out in Dickinson. If you can't make it out, you can listen on KOVC 1490 AM and NewsDakota.com. Coach, appreciate the time today. Best of luck on Saturday. Appreciate it, Mark.